Hi everyone, in this workshop we're cooking this monkfish, grilling it over this amazing Namibian hardwood. Stick around and see the whole video. Hi everyone, welcome to Woodfired Workshop at Manor from Devon Cooking School. In this workshop we're going to be talking about using specific woods to give flavour to your food and in the process of doing that we're going to be cooking a fantastic little fish dish from Mitch Tonks at the Seahorse restaurant in Dartmouth, grilling some monkfish over wood. On the tray today I've got some monkfish fillets and they are marinating in olive oil and a little splash of white wine. I've also got a little breadcrumb mix and in my breadcrumb mix here I've got thyme and fennel, lemon, zest and a little bit of rosemary, uh, salt and pepper and that's about it. Uh, a lot of people say you know wood-fired cooking everything must take, taste fantastically of wood not necessarily because sometimes we're just using that wood to heat the oven and then baking without any fire going in the oven or without any smoke in the oven and it really doesn't impart any flavor at all but when we do want to bring flavor we want to specifically pick our woods and create some smoke and it's really the smoke that's going to give the wood the food flavor not fire not flame as such <clears throat> so uh, i quite often use oak and we've got oak around us here. I'll quite often use some home oak. We've got some home oak in the garden and I use pieces of that. But today I want to talk about this particular wood that we're using and this is a wood called Camille Dorling. Camille Doring. I apologize to any Afrikaans speakers who might be watching this. And this is from a company called Firemasters UK. So Mike Ealing and at Firemasters import this wood from Namibia and it is super super dry it is very very hard and very very dense so it burns very slowly gives off a lovely lovely aromatic flavor uh, and creates great coal so it's absolutely brilliant for grilling over it's sustainably resourced so uh, it is a protected species the camille doring uh, so they can't chop it down or anything like that these are just pieces of wood uh, which have fallen from trees or trees which have fallen and then been harvested and that's supporting local businesses out in uh, Namibia and they're bringing it into the UK and distributing it within the UK and we'll provide a link of course to them uh, in our notes so this is fantastic stuff if we're doing cooking like this uh, where we're just going to be grilling over wood we don't really need to heat the fire at all so if you have a look at the fire over here that I've got in the centre of the oven here, I've created a little bed of uh, wood from the Camille Doring, which I've split down into fairly small pieces so they burn fairly quickly because it is such a slow burning wood that if I put on big chunks, like the chunks that it comes in, like these guys, it would take forever to burn down. Uh, so I've broken that down, made a little fire just enough that it will give me a nice bed of embers underneath my Tuscan grill. When I've got that bed of embers, I'll sit the grill over the top, let it warm up a little bit, do my cooking, everything is done. I haven't preheated the oven, I haven't put a lot of heat into the oven which I'm then not going to use. So it's a very efficient way of cooking and it really sort of uses this rather precious wood uh, to the best of its ability so I get maximum flavour uh, using a minimum amount of wood. Whilst the fire finishes burning down to a bed of embers, We'll get the wood out of the way and talk a little bit about the dish that we're going to be cooking. But remember that this technique is for all sorts of things. So you could cook your sausages over it for breakfast. You can grill chops, any kind of fish, vegetables, anything that you would cook over a grill. Fantastic. So uh, in my bowl, I've got monkfish uh, fillets straight from the fishmonger. Nice and simple, nothing to be done to them. And those have been marinated in white wine and olive oil. A few breadcrumbs made tasty with herbs and a bit of lemon zest and we're going to pop those in there and give them a little bit of a coating just a light coating and this just going to give a bit of a crunch on the outside so they don't need to be perfectly coated at all it's just a kind of shuffle around there in the uh, breadcrumbs so the oil on the outside there, the breadcrumbs, all of that is going to absorb smoke, add to the delicious flavour of this dish. 
If we go back to the fire now, the fire has nearly burnt down to a beautiful bed of embers, but those embers from this really dense hard wood will glow for ages. So I don't need to rush about this because I've got plenty of time to do my cooking. It's almost like having charcoal underneath your grill. I am going to add a couple of fresh pieces of wood because these are going to make more smoke so we're going to add extra smokiness and I'm just going to kind of sit those around the outside they'll heat up but probably not burst into flames and then the Tuscan grill sits over the top and I'm going to give that all five minutes or so maybe ten to heat up nicely so it's nice and hot when our fish hits the grill. If it's not hot, there's much more likelihood of the fish sticking, and that's not good. That's been heating up for a few minutes now. If I put my hand in the oven, I really haven't got a lot of heat in there, but if I put my hand just over the top, then I've only got a sort of three Mississippi heat coming off there from those lovely embers. I'm just gonna bring the Tuscan grill out for a second wipe off the ash. I've made a little sacrificial oil brush here and I want to hear that sizzle before I put my fish on and I can hear that and then on we go with the fish. If you're doing this with a steel oven you might find because it reflects heat so well that you've got a bit more heat on top so things will cook a little bit more quickly that's not a problem you just need to be a little bit more on the ball I'm gonna add a couple more little bits for extra smokiness there slide everything back in and let that cook for a few minutes Hopefully you can hear that fish sizzling away on the grill in there. What you can't do is smell the fantastic aroma coming off that wood. And it's so redolent of trips to Africa uh, that we've taken in the past and those lovely cooking fires everywhere. It just smells wonderful. So we've got a nice bit of colour on there, so flipping those over. Doesn't matter at all that quite a lot of that breadcrumbs falls off because you'll still get a little bit of crunch and flavour. Monkfish is about to come out of the oven, so just an opportunity to say thank you very much for watching this wood-fired workshop. We produce these workshops on a regular basis, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates. And if you've got any questions at all or any comments, please put them below and we will get back. That was fantastic. It's still sizzling away, still plenty of heat in that oven. I can see that this monkfish is a lovely bright white colour. Nice and firm, 